good morning guys. My dad and I are out here doing some trolling this morning, trying to catch some kokanee. We're out here on the new boat. I've been out here for about 20 minutes, finally just got everything set up and dialed. And uh, hopefully we hook into a fish. Any fish will be fun today. I'm hoping, last time we caught one fish on the new boat, we lost a couple, but we got a new net and I am hoping to land at least two fish this morning. So I'll pull this thing back out once we hook into a fish. Heck yeah. All right guys, first fish of the morning. Nice rainbow. That's sweet. I'll let him go. Well guys, we just caught a pretty brown trout. All right, second fish of the morning. Pretty brown trout. Nice. That's sweet. Well, seconds later, we just got this rainbow. Smaller guy. What do you got there, dude? Fish number five. I didn't get the camera out for the last one, he was smaller, but we're knocking him dead now. Nice little rainbow. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. They're fat, aren't they? Yeah. Heck yeah, guys, that's fish number six. Number six, yeah. <laughs> nice. Just got back from fishing, like you just saw, and um, something I've been wanting to do for a minute, but haven't been able to get the set of antlers together, is a hard white that I found a few weeks ago on a shed hunt with Eric. I'll post a video right here. Alrighty, guys. Oh, I finally matched yeah. up with a brown a that I found right last year in 2021 post that video right here and eric and i were looking at some pictures and videos and we thought it could be a set but this is the first time i've put them together and i want to show you guys all right so here's the set first time they've ever been held together sweet bull It. If you guys remember this bowl, this brown had this drop tine that was busted off. This bowl's all busted up, but uh, very similar pedicles. Well, exact same pedicles. It's the same bowl. Kind of have that hardcore dish right in the center. He's got similar indents right here on the base, like uh, veins and everything. Super cool bull. Stoked on that. So there it is, guys. My portion of the vlog this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will pass it on to the next person. See ya. People at home, people at home, welcome back to the Hush Life vlog. Logie, give me, um, just verify that this thing is on focus on my big face. <laughs> Crushing it? I wish I could show you this freaking setup that I'm vlogging on. It weighs about 18 pounds. Uh, yeah, welcome back to the Hush Life vlog. It's a new week, it's Monday, and we're doing some things here in that north office. Logue, what do we have on our plates today? Um, South Dakota turkey. Check it out, guys. Look at look at the TV screen. Oh yeah, we can watch it up here. Should we do a little movie night? Yeah. Hold on. We got this TV probably a year ago. We've this might be the fourth time we've turned it on. Yeah. We're trying to utilize it a little more. Anyway, let's do a little movie night. This video is going to come up, go up on Sunday, right? Thursday. This Thursday. Here's a little taste. Okay. Little taste. Here. In the in the evening, went out on a really quick hunt and Luke killed a slammer bird the first day. So let's repeat that. Okay. Slammer bird, first day. They're calling on a lineup with this box. <laughs> Guys, you guys just saw way too much. We shouldn't have showed you that much. It was just the B-roll stuff. Just the B-roll. Oh, that's a cool shot. Look at this shot. Dude, that's a cool shot, but this is my favorite shot of the whole thing. 
This look at the wind in his feathers. Hold on, let me turn it down. It's boom. That is bad to the bone. That guy's that guy will come and play later on. His name's old White Tips. White Tips. White Tips out out outsmart us. White Tip Outfitters. White Tip Outfitters. I guarantee there's an outfitter called White Tip Outfitters. I think that, that sounds super familiar. Anyways, guys, um, our section's not gonna be super long. I haven't been out doing much the last couple weeks. I have been putting on my coach. Hat and sweatshirt. I have been coaching lacrosse, my boys' lacrosse team. They had a big tournament this weekend. So anyway, just so you guys know, schedule moving forward. If you guys haven't watched yesterday's video, Shed Tour video went up yesterday on Sunday. Vlogs on Monday, and then we're going to do um, Thursday, Sunday. So thurs this Thursday and Sunday will be all turkey footage from South Dakota. You guys, this Thursday, today is Monday, this Thursday the 5th at 5. Head to our channel and watch this video. What's the date on Thursday? Fifth. Oh, Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. That means tomorrow is my wife's birthday, and I completely forgot about that until <laughs> I just said that. Whoa. I'm glad I, you, I asked you. My wife's birthday is on May 3rd. Here's a funny story for you. Before we were married, when we were dating, for some reason, for two years in a row, I thought her birthday was Cinco de Mayo. And she never stopped me, like, never called me out on it. Like, the, hers was on the 3rd, on the 5th of May, for two years before we were married. I thought it was her birthday and we celebrated it that day. Just so you guys know. Anyways, May 5th, New Turkey Series. Go watch yesterday's video. And uh, thanks for watching the vlog. Let's send it on over to uh, Eric. The home of the promo. Eagle Eye. What's up everybody? Welcome to my portion of the Hush Life vlog. We are uh, accompanied by a good friend of mine, special guest, again. Gang gang. You've pretty much been living on our channel for the last couple weeks. Right? Maybe uh, they just call me the new Casey. Yeah. Replace the case. Replacey. That's what no, we'll just add two. Um, <laughs> it is pretty funny that when we have Ben on the channel, a lot of people are like, dude, when is Ben going to be a part of Hush? That's a good question, right? <laughs> is that what the people want? Yeah, let us know in the comment section. Should we just bring Ben on the, the Hush Life and add Shed Crazy to our line? Make it happen. Fun fact, this is, uh, you guys know, this is where we ship all our stuff. It's also where Shed Crazy ships out his apparel and his products. So Eagle Eye is our fulfillment center uh, for our e-commerce stores. And it's been a minute since we've showed you guys some of the behind the scenes stuff. So I wanted to bring the, vl the vlog camera here to show you guys some of the shirts and hats and things we have on our website and what we're doing to kind of expand our store and give you guys options on the store for different products and maybe some future ideas we have. So we'll go inside and check that out. But this guy like living back here, man, he's always ready with the canvas cutter. I live in this Always. This is my life. <laughs> Got some new products. Got some Easter baskets. <laughs> nice. Gift baskets. <laughs> okay, we're cruising through the warehouse, checking out some of the stuff. Let me give you guys a closer look at how we operate our store here at Eagle Eye. So they fulfill all the orders that come through gethushin.com, and this is our inventory. We've got one, two, three, about four of these racks are all hush stuff. So thanks to you guys who buy stuff on the store. Let me show you some of the stuff we've got. So we got a pretty hefty amount of flannels in stock. So red, the green, the uh, gray and black, and then the tan. So these are stretchy, super nice. Um, those actually did really, really good through the uh, colder months. It's starting to warm up and they're slowing down, but if you guys need a flannel, we got you. One hoodie that I wear a lot that people always ask if it's ever coming back in stock is finally back in stock and that is the cream colored hoodie in the Muley Topo design. So those are on the website as well. And from what I can tell right here, we have every size in stock ready to ship. And this one did really good too. We had launched this um, earlier this year. Brighter color logo. We hit a couple different colors on that. And of course we got the camouflage stuff, the deadhead. Deadhead hoodies. These are nice and soft and lightweight and then the camouflage hoodies in green like the army green With the bold antler highlighted and then the gray ones with the uh, Camouflage print so a lot of hoodies in stock. We stocked uh, all this stuff up Big time the last time we could and the problem with merchandise and buying shirts and hats was that they were nearly impossible to get through the uh, whole pandemic deal so when we could 
get this stuff we we got a lot of it and we stocked it pretty deep so you guys can have options and shop the store with all kinds of stuff so i can go on and on about all the different styles but the t-shirts the deadheads the flag prints these are all on our website at gethushin.com um we decided to launch this this is kind of a funny story so at hunt expo we had everyone who was working our booth in one of these really bright colored hoodies and so many people at the show were asking us why don't you offer it so we did so we got those on the website as well if you guys are looking for something that's super bright for this spring um, check out the turquoise ones and we did a big uptick in women's stuff for the hunting expo too so there's a lot of ladies stuff on the website now um, a lot of designs and colorways that are similar to men's just more in a ladies cut and then this uh, maroon style hoodie these are all ladies stuff right here so there's a whole bunch of ladies there's a whole bunch of kids and for anybody who's looking to set up some new arrows we just got an, uh, an order of all our veins and wraps so these are all hush veins and wraps we offer a ton of different colorways on the website so you can just shop through the store there should be a drop down menu with all the different color options that we carry um, in veins and wraps so you can customize your arrows this year the way you want I think I'm going to steer away from the whole uh, Skittles arrows this year and I'm going to go black and gray probably because we just got some of these in. Oh shoot, that's green. So like an army green. I know we had black and gray last year so I'll probably move to uh, yeah, like a solid black and a gray. Be a little more tonal this year. So pyro putty, all the fire starter stuff. You guys see me wearing that or using that in all the shed tour videos. We got good inventory on that. And man, hats galore. So we sold out on a couple of these styles on the website. So we ordered more. Like this one is the most popular one I believe right now. This is the one I'm wearing in Shed Tour videos quite a bit. Um, that comes in bent brim and flat brim. So if you like the bent option, we have either or. And then the duck camo, the old school duck camo. These were doing pretty good when we launched them. I think they've slowed down since, but it's actually a super clean color and style so we offer those in flat and bent brim we try to offer almost every hat we sell in both bent or flat so you guys have options 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 and yeah man it looks like we got a ton of fusion um looks like we got some cypher and we also got the new um specter camo for slight hats in like a white tail patch so that white tail design has actually done really well and we got some of that stuff in the shield stores back east i think is doing pretty good so that's a look at our store we have so many different options like i said i can go on for days and days about this stuff but if you guys want to shop our store the website is gethushin.com appreciate every single one of you guys that has bought stuff through our store it really it has become the lifeblood of hush when we started this thing you know one of the things that kind of kept us going was sponsorships and ad revenue on youtube and with your guys' help, the store has just taken off. So thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Literally every single one of you guys love you. And yeah, we're going to leave old Eagle Eye and carry the vlog on. And I don't know, go home and see what's up. Gotta love an Eagle Eye run. Always leave there with some fresh lids. Check it out. So it's pretty wild. I've been using these hats. Obviously you guys see them on the Shed Tour video. But like one good Shed trip. Spread they get out. smoked, man. They get wrecked. Got my new Shedicated t-shirt. We got Shedicated t-shirt in uh, green and black. So, yeah. It's always fun coming to Eagle Eye. Always head home with a whole bunch of random stuff. New swag. On to the next. Isn't it funny when you go get your own stuff, but you're still stoked to get it? Oh, yeah. like I'm like, I feel like I got me some hush hats. I got me some shirts. Like I feel like I went like shopping. I know. At our own, it's like a, at our own store. So guys, what do you guys think? We are thinking of renting this building one day. Big, big moves coming in the near future, the next year or two for Eagle Eye actually, which might leave this office building vacant. I think we should rent it, dude. I think it would be fun just to have, <laughs> just to hang out, shoot bows, like yeah. have parties. It'd be fun. Would you guys come hang out if we had a party at this building? Yeah, say we had, this is in West Jordan, Utah, by the way, say we had We'd call it the fun dome, like the hunting fantasy factory. So indoor range, we'd have our indoor range shooting 3D targets. 
this we'd be able to use this for like storing our four wheelers and trailers and then it'd have office space how cool would that be so sick i'm always telling ben you gotta move up here but he's not doing it <laughs> can't so, live in this hustle and bustle all the time you know he's not used to this flow this workflow we got up here no. go 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 everybody panda run dude you got it lunch time about to get panda run over by that car we had panda on the way to new mexico last week and man that honey walnut shrimp is what's up sometimes it's i'm a teriyaki chicken guy myself oh yeah yeah it's my go-to pretty much oh yeah uh oh custom order is in custom half of it what'd you get custom that's what i got right here teriyaki chicken white rice. veggies white rice that's kind of my go-to here and then i got a thing of uh Walk seared shrimp, but it's got to come out of the back. You know, I'm always ordering the comfortable. <laughs> That's interesting. I ordered a uh, honey walnut shrimp. This little guy, ten dollars. I swear, like the whole meal is cheaper than that. But um, twelve dollars for that meal. I, I love that you got coming. the greens in there. I love this stuff, man. You don't like the fried rice? Um, or chow mein? It's good. It is. It's good. I'm just trying to be healthy. Nice, dude. All right, well. We're gonna eat lunch. What's your guys' go-to at Panda? That's what we're getting. I'm starting to diet like a, a little summer cut on May 1st. So I figured why not splurge a little bit, but I didn't get the giant meal because that usually gives me a gut ache. <laughs> All right, is there a rule for uh, the cookie? You gotta eat it after fortune cookie? You gotta eat it before or else your fortune doesn't come true. Okay, so this note is for my next shed antler hunt. That's how you do this. So you gotta right. say what it's for. A sudden change in plans will test your adaptability. Bro, you don't want that. So maybe I'm like going to a ridge and I'm thinking it's a hot spot and it's not and I gotta adapt my worst, ground town. Worst shed fortune ever. <laughs> All right. What's um, yours? Your vibrant personality lights up the room. Dude, ain't that the truth? Totally the truth. Not really a fortune, but whatever. 